to use printf command uh, uh, on this board okay. you need to first of all you need to solder this bridge okay. then you need to open your STM32 cube IDE Okay. then click on your select your project and click on launch I have made the project previously so now I am going to show you what what changes you need are required uh, so that your print you can work with your printf statements so as you can see this is the standard program uh, not much is changed in this program so on this side you get your project explorer you need to click on it then we have uh, core you go into core and then you click on uh, then you click click on this IOC file your file then you right click and click on open you can also double click on it uh, what that will do is it will open a new cubemx configuration page ok so let's wait for that So this is the configuration page. On this configuration page, you need to zoom in using this button. You press this button and you zoom in and then you drag this, drag the uh, controller down. Okay. Then you need to select this MV3 REG on pin and click on it and then select sys jtdo swo as its alternate function ok so you click on that ok it will go from green to blue uh, yellow then what you need to do is go into your clock configuration and then you, what you need to do is is you need to write down your clock ok you need to write down your clock hmm. clock frequency main clock frequency so as you can see it's clock to 80 megahertz then you click on this hammer ok then what you need to do is you need to click on this hammer button ok then it will ask you to generate code and you click on yes then it will again ask for perspective you click on yes It will configure that pin uh, in your uh, program code so now uh, 
so it has configured that pin so now we what we need to do is uh, what we need to do is uh, we go into your uh, on this side we go into your uh, core folder then source folder src then you select system calls dot c and right click on it and click on open and when you open this okay then you will get uh, then you need then you need to then you need to go down on this file okay uh, when you open okay then you need to drag it down uh, and uh, you need to copy this function okay this this function you need to copy so this is the write function okay write function okay so it is defined weak in this uh, file so you can rewrite this function into your uh, into your file or you can select uh, jump select this so you need to copy this function and right click on it and copy okay copy and then you need to go back to your main main file and then you need to paste this uh, function above the main function and in between uh, in between user code begin 0 and user code end 0 ok so we are going to right click on it and click on paste ok so now we have pasted this function now what we need to do is we need to comment out this line or you can delete it but let's just comment out this line ok then you need to enter another command another statement ok uh, which another statement which is uh, I T M and then you can select this ITM send character okay then ITM send character send car then you uh, write star PTR and unitary operator close this function and then you put a semicolon in after you have done this you can also delete this line if you don't want any confusion so let's just delete this line and then what you need to do is you need to go you need to go in your uh, in your project folder and then you can click on build all Okay. so as you can see the project is finished building with zero error and zero warnings uh, and uh, you can just write printf statements over here so let's just say we write printf statement in our code so now we write in between these two lines user code begin to and user code end to so let's say we print f okay uh, so you write uh, hello world ok uh, after you have done your uh, writing your statement then you need to 
write a new line character new line uh, you need to insert this new line character into the, your statement and then you can uh, enter this colon if you do not put this new line then this uh, printf statement will not work okay. so after you have done this line written this line you can go into your again you can go into your project folder and project menu and click on build all uh, and as you can see there is an two warnings because printf statement needs printf statement needs uh, stdio header files so you go back again you scroll back to your top uh, to the top and uh, uh, in bit in here user code begin includes and user code and in between this you write hash hash include stdio dot h okay you can write this and then you again go into your project and then select build all and uh, see now it is zero error and zero warnings so now what we need to do is we need to upload this program into our board so let's see so we connect our board Okay, we have connect. So we connect our board. So we have connected our board. So after we have included our FTDIO dot h header files okay then you need to go into your project menu go into project menu then okay then go into your run 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 menu or at top and click on your debug configuration okay. uh, this window will appear okay on this window you will go into your this debugger tab over here okay this debugger tab then you go scroll down and then you click uh, enable this uh, serial wire viewer and uh, in the clock core clock uh, section you write your uh, uh, clock so our clock is running at 80 megahertz so you write 80 megahertz in this and then leave everything as it is okay then you click on apply then you can click on apply and click on debug okay then this will uh, put the uh, the board and it will put the board in debug menu okay then it will put the board in debug so now the board is in debug so what you need to do is you again you go into your windows menu then you click on show view and go to your SWV and in SWV you select ITM data console so here is your ITM data console okay ITM data console 
okay in itm data console you click on this configure trace button okay this window will appear and in this window window you need to select this port uh, and you need to enable this port 0 so on this port 0 you will get your all your printf statements okay then you click on ok okay so you will get a port 0 over here okay you will get a port 0 over here over here okay then you need to go uh, then you uh, you before you uh, uh, do anything you click on deep uh, this red button red circular button which says start trace you click on this start trace and then you go back uh, on top and uh, click on on resume okay you click on you click on this arrow button resume or you can go into uh, your run menu and click on resume so see when you uh, click on resume the uh, board your print whatever you have written it will appear so if I if I uh, Okay, so if I press this reset button, okay, then I if I press this uh, reset button, I will get I will get a message. Okay, so it is a nice handy tool for debugging purposes. Okay, so that's it so okay